Anyone else? Yes? Did you guys have any concerns about like, your safety on the trip? Concerns about safety when you were on the trip? Uh, I, I did, certainly. I mean, I grew up in and around New York City my whole life, so like everything is, freaks me out. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I certainly, there were times when we were on roads and highways that I was thinking, any one of these buses could be packed with a bomb. Yeah. But as soon as you, when you're actually there, you know, all that kind of subsides because like you're, you're there and you're, you're in the moment and then you still have that sense that like, oh, nothing's bad is gonna happen to me ever today. But they, you are, you're with four armed guards at all times and they have walkies and, and you can tell that Birthright has done a good job in tunneling out areas that are safe uh, and that, that you will feel safe, but it was certainly an idea that crossed my mind several times. Yeah, there was actually a, a bomb threat when I was there, and we were supposed to go to Vineyard Street that night, and they didn't take us. And everyone, like, we all gathered in a hotel, and it was pretty scary. Everyone was like, we don't know what to do, and, and they were on the phones with, like, I don't know who, and trying to figure out what to do, and they took us to some, like, closed-off bar instead, far away. And out in the streets, like, there's just sirens everywhere, so that was actually pretty scary. But. I, I know when I was there at the end of 2008, the war in Gaza broke out in the middle of our trip. And, and similar to what Sharsan's talking about, they, they reorganized some of the itinerary as we're watching fighter jets and tanks go by. But uh, there wasn't a feeling on our bus in particular that we were in danger because it seemed like people were trying to make every effort to make sure that we weren't. But at the same time, um, Every birthright trip has, for at least half the time, a group of Israelis, uh, Israeli contemporaries on the bus with them, who tend to be soldiers. I would travel with Shorashim, which meant we had for the entire ten days seven Israeli soldiers with us, traveling as our as as the participants' peers. So they're all people in their you know, in their early twenties. Um, so the fact that we on the bus were being taken out of harm's way was one thing, but at the same time, several of the soldiers on our bus who were supposed to be with us the whole time were called to the front in the middle of the trip and left. And there was a definite, you, you could see the, uh, the impact it had on a lot of people on the bus because you know, it was a, it's a lot of young people hanging out on the bus for 10 days and the soldiers, like all soldiers tend to be, were super cute and everyone was getting along great and having a good time and joking around and flirting. And then all of a sudden, uh, the guy who was sitting next to you uh, got to go, not because I have something else to do, but I'm sorry, I'm being called to a war, and uh, this could be it. I could be killed. Friends of mine have been killed, and it was sort of a real wake-up call for people on our bus. It wasn't a sense that people on our bus were actually in danger, but there was a sense that the pe person sitting next to you was in a, a much different situation than you were as an American on the bus. Uh, can I, can I, yeah. uh, there's two things. There was also, once you got there, there was a sense of, like, uh, defying pride. Oh, I'm here, so, like, if it's going to happen, just bring it on, you know. And then two... After having left Israel, um, it, had made, it had made me think that living here in New York City, we're in such denial and such unpreparedness for any attack that being in Israel made me feel much more safer on any given street corner than I ever felt here in New York City with regards to sort of any major catastrophe. Because they're, they're prepared, they have backpacks, they, have, they know exactly what to do. We're just walking around waiting to bump into each other. Any other questions? Yes. Well, uh, my accent will, uh, give, will give me away, uh, so I don't need to say uh, I was Israeli in, in birthright from the point you just said. Uh, I jumped to uh, actually two birthright trips in Nepal. And I was just wondering uh, to know, as a birthright alumni, do you see yourself engaging with Israel in the future uh, as an outcome of this uh, experience you have? And not necessarily in the political way but like taking your own families and being more involved, or it was a good experience, and it was, it was that. I just took my family back a month ago. My partner, who's sitting behind you, went, and that was his first trip to Israel, uh, and my parents, which was their first trip in 15 years, and my sister and her partner, their first trip in 30 years, so uh, I took them all back. Yeah. You also walk in that, so you have like, yes. another incentive. I'm, yes. I'm talking about someone who has like, He's married all his life here. He always he doesn't have relatives in Israel. He didn't really know the country <coughs> till he got to first right, and it, was it a turning point for him in his uh, 
treatment to Israel. What do you think? My wife and I came back to spend the year. <laughs> I can't. I can't wait to go back. I mean, especially uh, I can't wait to go back on my on my own terms. You know, without the bus, without the tour guide, without forty people. Trust me. You know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you all again for coming. Uh, the tablet sign-up sheet is still circulating. Books are available here, signed by the authors and contributors. You can have them personalized if you'd like. You pick them up here and pay for them downstairs before you leave. Thanks again. You must have been on the first right side.